Maybe we into marshmallows in five seconds. Impossible, my dear lady. That's absurd. Unthinkable. Why? Because that pipe doesn't go to the marshmallow room. It goes to the fudge room. You... <laughs> Oh my gosh. Hi there, welcome to K Reacts. And today we are watching Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory, the original one. Now I have seen this one before, but it has been a minute. Like I think the last time I watched it, I was probably at least 10. I had vague memories of it. Like I recognized some of the songs probably and like the characters and some of the settings and stuff. Um, but I remember being kind of weirded out by it, but like I enjoyed it at the same time. Like it was kind of disconcerting for me as a child, but then like I enjoyed all the colors and the music and the candy, so I am very familiar with Gene Wilder now. I certainly was not when I first watched this, so it'll be nice to um watch the first role that I ever saw him in with all the, uh, I guess, knowledge I have of him now. Anyway, let's just dive right into it, shall we? So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and the full length will be on Patreon if you want to check it out. The link is down below, and I'm just going to quit talking and let's get into it. Oh, I do remember this opening. I love this opening, the chocolate. Mm. Is this a stage musical? Like, did they adapt this into a stage musical? Mm-hmm. Love me some chocolate. I just can't fathom people who aren't chocolate people. That is, like, my ultimate weakness. Screen? The screenplay is done by the author himself? Okay. You can take a sunrise, sprinkle it with dew. Did this song come from this movie? I mean, like, this song is adapted all the time, so. Also, is he just giving these things away for free? Sanitize your hands, children. The candy man. He just lets them behind the counter. Pack. You're right. There you are. Thanks. The heck, how much did you get? <laughs> so ominous. The airy mountain, down the rushing glen. Who the F are you? Dare not go a hunt. Nobody ever goes in. <clears throat> Nobody ever comes out. <laughs> okay, thank you, sir. See, like the troll under the bridge? The gatekeeper. As soon as I get my strength back, I'm going to get out of this bed and help him. Dad, in all the years you've been <laughs> saying you're going to get out of that bed, I've yet to see you set foot on the floor. Why are they bedridden? Like, what? what's the matter with them? How about this? Charlie, where'd you get that? What difference does he it stole make it. where he got it? <laughs> Point is, he got it. Yeah. It's my first payday. I'm on Grandpa Thank Joe's you, side. <laughs> we'll have a real banquet. Oof. When bread is your banquet. Soft. From now on, I'm going to pay for your tobacco. <laughs> no one's going to pay for it, Charlie. Oh, different times, eh? Someone must be helping Mr. Wonka work the factory. Thousands must be Machines? helping. Machines? But who? <laughs> Is, that... Nitric acid, glycerine, Is that the guy from Monty Python? My own. Random. Horrible... Send him five golden tickets and the people who find him will win the big prize. Where's he hidden the tickets? Inside five Wonka bars. You gotta buy Wonka bars to find him. Class Rick is... <laughs> Oh, but Charlie can't buy all the Wonka bars. They're all crazy. The man's a genius. He'll sell a million bucks. Yeah, exactly. I was just thinking that. Like, that's a great marketing technique. One. I'm counting on you to find all five. Yes. Grandpa Joe's the ultimate hype man. But I dreamed the archangel appeared and whispered into my ear and told me where to find a golden Wonka ticket. <laughs> what exactly did he say? Well, what difference does that make? This was a dream, a fantasy. I mean, you said just Shut now. Shut up, offset and tell me where the ticket is. Oh my gosh. <laughs> the boy's name? Augustus Glue. Augustus, Augustus Glue. Glue. The just you. Why are they dressed so stereotypically? Is this hobby, you know? Who's this son of a gun? A 
Wonka. Open it, Charlie. Let's see that golden ticket. Wouldn't that be fantastic? I, th I thought they're only in the Wonka bars. Here, everybody have a bite. No, no, no. You just no, 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 no. Kong, he's so nice. Like, doesn't get any candy and he wants to share it. I want you to be the first to find a golden ticket, Daddy. Oh, oh no. yes, I remember hey, her. They're not even trying. They don't want to find it. They're jealous. Oh, she is the worst. I found a golden ticket. You found it. Shut your mouth. And this guy again. That computer, though. It says... I won't tell. That would be cheating. <laughs> Later, a Hi, friend. Sam Beauregard here. Square deal Sam to you oh, with all gosh. of today's great giveaway bargain. Now, of course, I'm right back on gum. I chew it all day except at mealtimes when I stick it behind my ear. Violet. Yeah. Call it, mother. Now, this piece of gum here is one that I've been chewing on for three months solid. Ew. That's a world record. And this guy again. Who the lucky ones will be. Well, in case you're wondering if it'll be me, it won't be. Just in case you're wondering, you can count me out. Aww. Charlie, one day things will change. When? When will they change? Probably when you least expect it. That's how things always happen. Whenever you're waiting for something, whenever you're expecting it, it doesn't happen. And as soon as you stop looking, stop waiting, it's when it happens. Blow. This song? He won't answer till the station break. Mike, the country wants to hear from you. The world is waiting, Mike. Can't you shut up? I'm busy. Oh my gosh. What a great show. Interesting that all the golden ticket finders are children. And they're all terrible children on that. We must remember there are many more important things. Many more important things. Offhand, I can't think of what they are, but I'm sure there must be something. <laughs> Me about chocolate. Oh. Grandpa, that money was for tobacco. I told you, Charlie, I've given it up. Go nice. Open it. How did he get it, though? You know, I bet those golden tickets make the chocolate taste terrible. <laughs> 2,000. I have 2,500 here. Oh my gosh. 4,000 pounds. 4,500 pounds? 5,000 pounds? Your Majesty. Your Majesty? <laughs> what did they ask for? Whatever it is, they can have it. They want your case of Wonka bars. <laughs> of course. It's your husband's life or your case of Wonka bars. How long will it give me to think it over? Oh my gosh. <laughs> The fifth and final ticket has been found, and we've got a live report coming in directly now from Paraguay, South America. Oh, my. And Charlie didn't get one? Was this the fake one or something? I don't... It's not even a kid. It's, it's a fake. How do they afford a television? They can't afford food. Who's going to tell him? Let's not wake him. No. Find out soon enough. Charlie Bucket, how many did you open? Two. That's easy. Two hundred is twice one hundred. Not two hundred. Just two. Not, just let him go with two? it. Two? What do you mean you only opened two? I need to shame him. Chuck. Ooh. Whichever's the biggest. Try a Wonka scrum diddly umptious. Nice. No. Hey, hey, hey. Take it easy. You'll get a stomachache if you swallow it like that. Mm. Bye. So I eat chocolate. I think I'll buy just one more. For my Grandpa Joe. Sure. Oh. All right. All right. Oh boy. Is the word out? It was a fake. That gambler from Paraguay made up a phony ticket. As a gambler, of course. One ticket still floating around somewhere. Oh boy. And it's in his hand. I mean, like, I know it's in there, but <laughs> the anticipation. Ooh. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm so excited. You got it, Charlie. Okay, dang. Let the kid go. 
Come on, Charlie. Hold on to that ticket. Run for it, Charlie. Run straight home and don't stop till you get there. Yeah. Go, Charlie. Oh, my gosh. I'm so happy for him. When you least expect it. That's so good. That was such a good moment. Oh. May I introduce myself? Oscar Slugworth. President of Slugworth Chocolates Incorporated. Uh huh. Okay, that makes sense. Your reward will be 10,000 of these. Think it over, will you? A new house for your family. $10,000 will buy a whole and new don't house, forget huh? The name. Everlasting Gobstopper. How did he find him? Like, how is he always just there? I haven't done this in 20 years. Oh. Grandpa! All right, but why? I would I would take it slow. Oh my. Were you faking it the whole time, Grandpa? Guess you gotta dance before you walk, huh? All right, here we go. Man! It's been a good chunk of the movie and we haven't even met Wonka yet. Like, it's, it's almost been an hour. But I mean, like, his presence has been here, but he himself. Kind of like that. It's been a good build-up. Like, a lot of movies don't do that, especially nowadays. Because it's, like, slow. But it's like, when you have a good build-up like this, or, like, the anticipation builds, and it's, and it's good. Especially when there's a good payoff. Ugh, I hate gum so much. Woo! Yes! Gene Wilder is just such an icon now. In we go. Little surprises around every corner, but nothing dangerous. Nothing dangerous. Oh gosh. What the? What kind of accident? I didn't know we had to sign anything for this tour. I can't what the heck? What says in the book? Oh, give me that pen. <laughs> You're always making things difficult. Oh gosh. Nicely handled, Baruka. <laughs> Nicely handled. <laughs> There's a door here somewhere. We'll just come through there. How do you like that? Oh my god. Hey, the room is getting smaller. What in the world? No, it's not. He's getting bigger. He's at it again. Oh gosh. Oh, don't get overexcited. Don't lose your head, Augustus. We wouldn't want anyone to lose that. Yet. Now, Yet. Nice. I do remember this bit. This was always my favorite part. Like I always wanted one of those giant gummy bears. Ooh. What is that? I should like provide them with spoons or something. That's chocolate. A chocolate river. That's the most fantastic thing I've ever seen. Ten thousand gallons an hour. Doesn't really look like chocolate, but I mean, usually it's chocolate is thicker. Mr. Lady. Wonka, I am a teacher of geography. Oh, well, then you know all about it. And what a terrible country it is. Nothing but desolate <laughs> wastes and fierce... What kind of rubbish is that? I'm sorry, but all questions must be submitted in writing. And so... In <laughs> Please, I beg you, Augustus! <laughs> oh, gosh. My chocolate! <laughs> My beautiful chocolate! <laughs> <laughs> Kids drowning. My chocolate! Help. Police. Murder. Big Johnny! <laughs> he can't swim! There's no better time to learn. <laughs> There's no better time to learn. Maybe we into marshmallows in five seconds. Impossible, my dear lady. That's absurd. Unthinkable. Why? Because that pipe doesn't go to the marshmallow room, it goes to the fudge room. You... <laughs> oh my gosh. Ah, yes, classic. I've got a perfect puzzle, puzzle for you. you. Yes. Oh, of course, the tunnel scene. The famous tunnel scene. You know, I sort of 
blocked it from my memory. I don't remember being traumatized by it though, any more than anything else in the movie though. So it'll be interesting to watch it now as an adult. I take good care of my guests. Yeah, you took real good care of that August kid over Everybody there. Everybody <laughs> Good point. We're going too fast. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to sink. I don't know. What is happening? It's psychedelic. What is this? A freak out? What? No. Uh, uh, I'm going to be sick. I can take a joke, but this is going too far. Tell that little guy to turn us around, Walker. Uh, I am going to be sick. And they're certainly not showing any signs that they are slowing. Oh, God. jetzt in den interessantesten und gleichzeitig geheimsten Raum meiner Fabrik. I can't take much more of this. <laughs> I don't blame you. This is the one that's really going to sizzle old Slugworth. What's it do? Would you like to see? Oh, the meme. The meme. Oh, really? Tell me more. <laughs> this machine, what is happening? It's like a Dr. Seuss machine. Those look like the worst candies to eat ever. They look like a deformed, a deformed Rubik's cube. Ew. Stop tasting things. This little piece of gum is a three-course dinner. Bull. No roast beef, but I haven't got it quite right yet. I don't care. <laughs> I wouldn't do that. No, no, girl, don't do it. So long as it's gum, then that's for me. No. It's hot and creamy. I can actually feel it running down my throat. Stop. Don't. Why doesn't? <laughs> He's so over it. Yeah, but your face is turning blue. Violet, you're turning violet, Violet. What are you you're turning violet, Violet. Berries. You've really done it this time, haven't you, Wonka? I'll break you for this. Oh, well, I'll get it right in the end. <laughs> He's so unbothered. I got a blueberry for a daughter. <laughs> Let's take a drink, Charlie. Nobody's watching. Yeah. A small. Oh, no, don't be like everyone else. You had. To Everyone needs to stop ignoring Mr. Wonka. Even Charlie and Grandpa Joe. It's pulling me in! I can't stop! I can't stop! Mm. What do we do? What happens? Oh, something... uh. ah, that's wonderful, Charlie. My siblings would be so good at this. Burp to save your life. So like they just lay chocolate eggs. <laughs> Of course you do. Yeah. Right, Girl. Unnecessary. Don't care how I want it now. Yep. Saw that coming. What, what did it lead to? To the furnace. <laughs> to the furnace. <laughs> well, I think that furnace is lit only every other day. So they have a good sporting chance, haven't they? Gosh. All right, tell us what the lesson is. Stronger than lions. Gosh. <laughs> what in the heck? Photographs. Sure, I do. You photograph something, and then the photograph is split up into millions of tiny pieces, and they go whizzing through the air down to your TV set, where they're all put together again in the right order. You should open your mouth a little wider when you speak. <laughs> I want that bar of chocolate. It might have some messy results. Look at me, I'm gonna be the first person in the world to be sent by television. No. Get away from that thing. Stop, don't come back. What? <laughs> Look, he totally got my attitude. Like, if you're gonna be dumb, I'm not gonna stop you. Until the kids back home hear about this. Nobody's gonna hear about this. Are you taking me? I don't wanna go. <laughs> put them in her purse. The boys are extremely springy and elastic, so I think we'll put them in my special taffy pulling machine. That should. Taffy puller. Oh, what's he saying? No, no, I won't hold you responsible. <laughs> Excuse me for not showing you out. Straight up the stairs, you'll find the way. I'm terribly busy. Whole day wasted. Goodbye to you both. Whole day wasted. <laughs> Why is everything in half? It's all there, black and white, clear as crystal. You stole fizzy lifting drinks. You bumped into the ceiling, which now has to be washed and sterilized, so you get nothing. You lose. Good day, sir. You're a crook. Shush. 
You're an inhuman monster! I said good day! So intense all of a sudden. Oh, he's gonna do the right thing. Mr. Wonka? Mm-hmm. You won! You did it! You did it! I knew you would! I just knew you would! <laughs> that 180. Slugworth! No, no, that's not Slugworth. He works for me. For you? I have oh my gosh. It, Charlie, and you passed the test. You mean we're going up and out? But this roof is made of glass. It'll shatter into a thousand pieces. But we'll be cut to ribbons. Probably. <laughs> hey, so the factory's yours, Charlie. You can move in immediately. And me? Absolutely. What happens to the, the rest of The whole family. I want you to bring them all. Aww. <laughs> Don't forget what happened to the man who suddenly got everything he always wanted. What happened? He lived happily ever after. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, that was Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. That was really good. It's no wonder that it's a total classic. So I always hear that Willy Wonka is supposedly a psychopath who deliberately sets up like these traps for the kids or like people always talk about like he's a murderer or just like this sociopath and whatever um but like come on <laughs> he clearly sets out these rules in the beginning and tells them what to do and what not to do um and then they break the rules and like it's not really his fault that they don't do what he says and like sure he doesn't do much to like stop it and he's pretty unconcerned with what does happen to them but like honestly i kind of vibe with that a little bit <laughs> like i am so disinterested in what stupid people do like <laughs> this kind of stuff happens at my work all the time like you're just telling people to do something or there's a sign that says to do or not do something and then like they go off and do it anyway and I'm just standing there just watching it in like annoyance and disappointment like <laughs> no stop come back because <laughs> like either they're gonna do what they're, they're just gonna do what they're gonna do or they're gonna get mad at you for trying to stop them like that's just how it is because stupid people just do what stupid people do <laughs> anyways i haven't read this book since elementary school so i can't say if this is a totally accurate adaption but i would assume it is since the screenplay was written by the author himself um I mentioned in my reaction uh, that I actually really liked that there was a lot of buildup uh, before they went into the factory, like all the tension and excitement and anticipation. Um, like it makes you really excited as the characters are getting excited and you're like, ooh, like what is this all about? What's going to happen? Um, like, I guess. It could have been a little bit shorter because like it took up like half the runtime just before we even got into the factory um <clears throat> but uh i thought it was well done i liked it like it's just so funny how irrational everybody got over finding these golden tickets um and for real like i think probably my favorite part was when Charlie found his ticket. Like, I don't know, it just, like, it was just shot really well and like the music that went with it and like the way it all built up, like it was just so, so good. I loved it. Um, yes, and then obviously there's Gene Wilder as Willy Wonka so perfect in that role he is an icon r.i.p to the legend 
Um, and I guess that's it. So thank you for watching with me. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And the full length will be on Patreon if you want to check it out. The link is down below. And I will see you next time on Carrie X.